All right, guys. Today I'm going to talk about uh, movies, uh, television, and uh, video games, uh, and the dangers of these uh, three things. Social engineering. Uh, this is this is basically how they use the television to engineer society uh, and certain internet uh, personalities, as well as movies, uh, as well as video games. Uh, in fact, uh, when I was playing Battlefield 3, the um, the st uh, story mode of Battlefield 3, uh, right in the beginning, they start off talking about why are we in Iraq? We should be in Iran. Um, so. You, you're not going to escape no matter where you go, no matter what you do. Um, the Ministry of Propaganda is is the pretty much the government hand of um, basically just psychologically controlling the population. Uh, so we're we're going to start off with television. What is the dangers of television? Well, I've already explained that there is an illusion of choice. In fact, I'll go to that <clears throat> right now. Six companies uh, pretty much control everything you see reading here. So, if you think you're going to get any kind of truth from a television or even a movie, then you're you're completely insane. Uh, this is basically the illusions that we have. Left, right, Republican, Democrat, uh, Barack or Romney, uh, you know, Bush or uh, Gore, it's all the same. It's, it's an illusion. Um, it's, it's pure mind control. If you do research on the television, um, you'll find out that the flicker rate uh, induces a uh, dream-like state. Uh, if you'll ever notice that after about 30 seconds of watching the television, your eyes just kind of tend to just go and stare into a blank. Um, anytime I'm over a friend's house and they have the television on and I, and I turn around and look at it, I catch myself going into this state of just staring no blinking just and I'm like what the hell is going on um, but I know what's going on because I did the research on it uh, the, what you what you basically end up with is a bunch of people who are making talking points uh, in their daily lives of what they saw on television every buddy who watches the television is guilty of this your entire conversation has to deal with what you saw the night before or earlier in your life or everything is, is dealt with uh, in your life it's dealt with what you've seen uh, monkey see monkey do um, and another example of that is uh, like these reality shows like Big Brother you you have these these macho men who are abusive and they're just verbally abusive and physically abusive to uh, the female counterparts on that show and when you see that you kinda I don't know subliminally think that it's okay, uh, subliminally think that's the way it is, and subliminally uh, monkey see monkey do. So that's why there's so much violence in this world because you watch violence, you become violence. Um, whatever you intake is what you become. And they're brainwashing us. Uh, I'm gonna skip all this. Alright, now we're gonna get into the video games. <clears throat> Uh, anybody who first started playing video games, you would notice uh, that you are jerking the controller. Um, when you need to turn your head, you will turn your head. In fact, let me pause the video right here because I have a prime example of this. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try to find that. Okay, so I was unsuccessful in finding it, but I will, um, I will find it because I had a dialogue with the uh, gentleman who uploaded it. I asked him if his wife was still jerking the controller and turning her head, uh, and he said no, she doesn't do that anymore. So through my own research, I found that this is exactly what's going on, um, and anybody who's ever played a video game will know that that's what's going on. Uh, I started off with just Mario on the Nintendo, and I remember as a kid, I would jerk the controller, I would jump when I wanted to jump, and uh, so uh, through uh, constant playing of video games, you end up suppressing your fight or flight response, and this is why so many people will get that deer in the headlights look um, when they're in danger. Um, because you've effectively uh, shut that part of your brain down. Um, like, for instance, if, if, if a bus is heading towards you, you freeze in fear, um, and, and the person gets hit by the bus, and you're asking, why the hell didn't they jump out of the way? Uh, well, it's quite simple, because they have they've burned out uh, a part of their brain that was essential uh, to their survival. 
Uh, and another example of this is like scary movies and stuff. Um, you know, if you if you watch just a couple scary movies, you'll jump. You will jump when the scary parts come. Um, but if you watch uh, scary movies all the time, you're going to be the only person in the crowd who doesn't jump. And uh, that's not a good thing. You might think that's a good thing, but it's not. So, uh, and uh, in movies, it's always the same story. And this is a subliminal program. Um, we're always waiting on a savior. If you'll notice, it doesn't matter what story it is. And it, it goes back farther than that. Um, but it's the constant message that you are weak and you need somebody to save you. Ron Paul, uh, Neo, uh, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, uh, even Jesus. <clears throat> and I'm not saying Jesus is not coming back, but if you'll notice throughout history, Hitler got away with what he got away with because uh, probably people were just waiting for Jesus to come take him out. And what I'm saying is, is it's up to us. Uh, if Jesus exists, if he's coming back, then that's fine. Uh, but right now, it's up to us, you. It's up to you uh, to change this world. It's not. It's not up to these these uh, supposed Christ figures who are going to save us because we're too weak. We can't defend against uh, some clown uh, <laughs> in Gotham City. I mean, come on. How many times have these people gotten away with? Uh, and I know I'm talking on a on a fantasy sense, but how many times have these criminals on these uh, uh, on these shows and these movies have just gotten away with stupid stuff because the uh, average person just sits there and cowers. You don't have to cower, you know. Pull out your concealed weapon and blow Joker in the face and then game over, you know, movie over. <laughs> uh, but it's the constant message that they're sending to us that we're waiting for a savior. And uh, the truth is, is that we are our own saviors. And we will be, uh, we will continue to be our own saviors until uh, something uh, supernatural happens, or uh, or the world's destroyed. One of the two. And I, I want to end this with, um, and this is not a complete video on this. I, I might add some comments later if I forgot something, because I know I've done, I forgot something. Especially when you talk about three different things: movies, television, video games. You cannot cover the whole thing uh, in, in in one video. And since I don't have a script, I'm not going to be able to actually explain everything so you're going to have to do your own research or uh, just don't I don't care anyways I'm going to end this with the pyramid and how they build their pyramid and what you need to realize is that you are on the bottom of this pyramid what happens when we walk away what happens when the people on the bottom of the pyramid walk away what happens to the people on top they fall on their face and that, that's the ultimate message with this video. You have the power to crumble their pyramid. Uh, but you don't think you do. And that's, that's, uh, that's the big problem with these movies. So I'm going to end it with that. Uh, again, I'm not attacking Christians. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just saying, for right now, it's up to us. Thanks for listening. I knew I forgot something. Um... The, the way that they have tricked us into believing that we are at war uh, with Al-Qaeda. Okay, um, what I want you to understand is that the 9-11 uh, attack was about a 30-minute attack or something like that. I'm not going to pretend to know the exact time. But what every major network did was they played 9-11 uh, over and over and over and over and over again. For at least six months after the incident, it was on every major network. This is when I stopped watching television, um, because what they were doing is what they were—they were manipulating your perception of time. You thought we were under constant attack, but the fact was it was just a simple 30-minute attack. Um, but people had the perception that it was constantly happening. Um, and uh, the manipulation of time is throughout all television shows. You'll, you'll see the reason why people have ADD is because their own life seems boring in comparison to a 30-minute program that can cram an entire week's worth of stuff uh, in just a 30-minute episode. Um, 
uh, you know, 24, prime example. They fit a whole day in an hour. So your whole, your, your life seems very slow and very boring in comparison to these, um, these people that you're watching on television. And, and their life seems so much more extravagant and so much more interesting because in our life we have the fillers. We have, you know, before we can eat the sandwich, we have to make the sandwich. In order to, you know, get to the, uh, get to a, a place of, of fun, we have to drive there. But they cut all that out in the in the in the movies and in the television shows, so they manipulate our perception of time. Uh, and with that, I'm going to end this video. So thanks for listening, and I uh, hope this was informative.